During a historic speech to the City of London on Wednesday night, King Charles offered a modest tribute to his youngest son Prince Harry. He and Queen Camilla attended a luncheon and event at Mansion House to honor the work of City of London municipal institutions and livery companies. During his speech the King asked the people to rise above the rancor and acrimony of online disputes with Harry and Meghan Markle campaigning for the protection of children online during their WORLD Mental Health Day meeting in New York last week. His Majesty stated the instinct to cooperate operate wherever and whenever possible is deep within us. Even in the most acrimonious of times, when disputes are polished, displayed, and proclaimed there is a kind of muscle memory in our account wry that it does not have to be like this. That the temptation to turn ourselves into a shouting or recriminatory society must be resisted or at least heavily mitigated whenever possible especially in the digital sphere where civilized debate too often gives way to rancor and acrimony. These instincts come together in perhaps the deepest of all our reservoirs the one that irrigates our crucial sense of responsibility both individual and collective that enables us to fulfill our duties as good citizens who understand without having to write down or formalize them the desinkies on which our institutions and constitution rely as well as our relationships he continued. On GB News Royal commentator Angelo Levin remarked of the covert messaging there's a bit here thought he is just about Harry and Meghan and I'll just read these lines do we pause instinctively and yoon ringly before speaking or acting to ensure we are affording equal weight to both sides of the balancey. It would make our culture kinder and nicer. I think it's quite interesting because it's a message to Harry don't come in and start shouting at me and demanding that years later that we still apologize to Meg.